upper body so that I had it in our library. So here we are. All right. Okay. Let's get started. Get our music up here. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, we're going to start off right here in a window reach up and down. Okay, squeeze at the top, slight bend in the knees. We're definitely not warmed up yet. Woo! Get a good twist. Three, two, one, and then we're going to go into a toe touch right here. I'm going to extend our warm up a little bit. The way I designed this, I don't know, we just didn't give us quite enough. So, right here, toe touch. Just want to make sure our arms are nice and, nice and warmed up. Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay, now we're going to go out into some plank walkout. And when you get to the outside, you can drop down, 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 up, up, and then come right back up. And the next time, come down with the other arm. Just alternate. And then come right back up. Squeeze. Go back to the other side. You're just taking turns. Bring it back. And squeeze. Now this time when you go out, you're gonna come out and you're just gonna shoulder tap right here. And just really keep the hips nice and still. We're just warming up the shoulders. Then we're warming up the core and the glutes. Are you doing it? Up. And squeeze. Out. Tap, tap. Come back up. One. All right, now I just want you to jog in place, right here, jogging. Nothing too crazy yet. Just getting the knees up, getting the blood flowing. Keep going, another 10 seconds. Woo, get the arms up. Just getting ready for this. Birdie, birdie, but really good. All right, pull the arms back. Right here. Warming up the shoulders. Another 10 seconds. Feels like 1990 something right here. Feels good. All right. All right, now push to the side and then to the other side. All right. So we're not pulling too long on each side. We're just getting the side body warmed up, getting the hips ready for it. Okay. Five. All right. Now we're gonna break for a second. I'm gonna take we're gonna start off with some push-ups. There's gonna be two sets. All right, you can do these on your knees or you can do these in full plank. The first set is gonna be a regular push-up. So you're gonna be right here. And you're just gonna be a regular push-up. All right, or you can be up in plank. The second set is gonna be a standard push-up. So one hand is directly under the shoulder, the other one is forward. So if you can see my hands here, they're scattered. So you're really gonna feel it in the pack, like the pack area, like by the shoulder, right here. So you're really gonna feel it in a different way. You can absolutely stay on your knees for that one. If you can do it on, on your hands and toes, great. But if not, knees are fine. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off in a regular push-up. And here we go. Okay, out we go. Regular push up down, up and down. So we got about 20 seconds here, okay? A couple more. And the push ups you only go through one time, one series. So make the best of it. Know that this is the best thing you can do for your chest and your abs. Two, one. Great. Okay, now we're gonna go into that standard push-up. So I'm gonna go on my knees. You can try being on flat feet. If not, one arm forward, one arm back. Three, two, one. 
Staggered push up, down, and up. All right, so just keep right here. Don't switch. All right, so you're just gonna we have one arm forward. Right now, my left arm is forward. Three, two, one. Now switch it. Other arm forward. Ooh. And you're gonna see exactly what I mean when I say you're not gonna feel it in the same place as a regular push up. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, done with those. All right, so now I'm gonna roll the mat over to the thighs. And we're gonna get ready for our first series here. Biceps. So grab your heavier of your weights. Because our biceps, we can usually go a little bit heavier. I'm gonna stand with our feet, shoulder width apart. We're gonna squeeze the glutes. We're gonna flip the wrists. In the first part, we're gonna go down to halfway up. We're gonna really tuck the elbows right here. Okay? Ready? And here we go. Okay. So tuck the elbows, halfway up, and then lower. Good. Halfway up, right there. Good leg. Perfect. So you're not gonna go all the way up. Good. You're gonna really squeeze the weight. You're gonna tuck the elbows. Good. And we're gonna try and just keep the core really engaged. Try to keep squeezing the abs right here. Two, one. Now we're gonna come all the way up to the shoulder, keep the elbows tucked, and then go halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. So we're just gonna continue the burn. We're just hitting it from the top down now. Okay, breathe. In and out. And just keep the elbows tucked. Keep squeezing the glutes. Keep squeezing the abs. Everything stays engaged. Two, one. Now all the way up and then all the way down. Right here. All the way up. All the way down. <laughs> it looks like you eat all day. It's good. Full range of motion, right? I know. I know, you think you're done. All the way down, just make sure you get all the way down. All right, almost there. Three, two, one, okay. Now we get a little break. So switch to your lighter weights right here. Because we're gonna go into triceps. So I'm gonna switch to my lighters. Okay, we're gonna roll out the shoulders right here. We're gonna be going into tricep kickbacks. So we're gonna bend over. And we're just gonna kick back right here. Kick. All right, here we go. All right, here we are. Kick it back. Remember on tricep kickbacks, try to only move the bottom part of the arm. Good, Lynn. And then you keep your elbows up. Good, Carolyn, perfect. Squeeze those triceps. Back. Back. Out and in. Hey. Ooh. I'm feeling these already. Because I did it. So just keep going. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay, take a break. All right, now switch it back to your heavier weight. All right. Now we're gonna go down, squat to wide. So we're gonna be up a little bit wider. All right, and let's go. Squat down, wide. If you feel like this is too much and you're like, it's just too much for my shoulders, drop the weights and grab your layers. Wide. This is a little bit different than a regular squat to press. But I think you got it. You're looking good there. Lynn, you look perfect. Good, Carolyn. Nice, strong, wide. Woo! It's like a, a strong dance move or something. Woo! Heaviest pom-poms ever we got here. Ugh. Yes. We're gonna get really nice shaped shoulders with this move. That's why I like it. And it also engages the obliques, because we're not going straight up. So the sides of the body, the abs get engaged every time. One, 
All right, break. Set those down, just for a second. Keep the same weight here, okay? Just shake out your hands, and I'm gonna down on the next one. Elbows come in, you're gonna go down, and then you're gonna go to the side. Down, to the other side. And you're gonna keep your elbows tucked. All right, here we go. All right, here we are, elbows together, or I'm sorry, dumbbells together. And then you're just gonna go one side to the other. So you're gonna feel this in your biceps. You're gonna keep the elbows tucked. You're really gonna keep the abs engaged perfect. Side to side. You shouldn't be feeling too much in the shoulder, but you're gonna feel a little bit in the front of the shoulder. Good. And then try to keep your elbows down. Elbows are gonna wanna come up. Just remind them, no. When the elbows come up, we lose the bicep engagement. Three, two, one, and break. All right, set the weights down. We're gonna go into a punching, a punching lunge. This is gonna be our cardio move. We're gonna let, let the burn go away. All right, let's go. Side to side, right here. Now, if you don't wanna jump, right here. Side to side, punch down. Get a twist right here. If you're jumping these, side to side. And just get that twist. Good. Woo. Good. Just try to get down right there. Good, Lynn. Extend the leg. Extend the leg and punch down. Good, Carolyn. Right there. Punch down. So we keep the upper body engaged. We just bring the heart rate up a little. No weight. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, we're on a break before we go to the next circuit. 45 seconds, grab some water. Look at that. You're already a whole circuit in. Okay, our next move. We're gonna start off in a speed skater. I'm gonna demo. We're gonna be in a speed skater with the weights today. We got one weight in each hand. I'm going light on these. So I'm gonna push and pull each side. So I'm gonna push with one side, pull back with the other. All right, five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, here we go. Pushing and pulling. All right. So, whatever weight you started with, if it feels good, great, keep it up. If you feel like you need a little more, you can grab more. But if you feel like it's too much, you can grab lighter or drop the weight. Because remember, you know, you got a lot of engagement in the arms everywhere else on this workout. So these might feel harder than they do on some days. Woo. Side to side. Really get a twist. Look up. You can look to the side that you're getting down. Good. Woo. All right. Almost there. 10 seconds. Get down. Burn up the booty. Woo. Three, two, one. Oh, all right. Set the place down. All right, on back for beat. So, grab your mat. All right, all right, here we go, burpees. And here we go, burpee down. You don't need to do the push up on this burpee. Just look for the cardio and look for the shoulders. We've done a lot of push ups. So, I told the earlier class if you want push ups, Go ahead, feel free. If not, just jump the feet in and out and go right back up. And you're gonna get more than enough. You'll be feeling like super strong. Jump back and up. Woo. Okay, and you can also modify these. Walk it back. Walk it forward, up and squeeze. If it's just a lot, a minute of burpees. A lot of burpees. Two, one, and break. Ready? Okay, 15 seconds off. All right, rolling the back backwards. Grabbing my light weights. 
gonna go into a weighted T-star. So one arm up, one arm down, and we're just gonna come down to the side. We're gonna kick the, the, the hip out. So we're just gonna really reach up. Now look up, look up at the hands when you're coming down. So range of motion, range of motion is different for every person. If you're only going down to your knee and then back up, that's okay. If you're coming all the way down the leg, that's great. Just look up. Good. Woo. All right, flip side, right over to the other side. Kick out the hip on the other side. You're gonna feel the obliques really getting a burn here. Woo. Good, Carolyn. Perfect, Lynn. These feel really good. And you know they're out, they're working the right places. Three, two, one, and break. 15 seconds off. Woo! All right. Oh, did I catch my short? You got another 30 seconds. All right. I had 30 on each side. Yeah. <laughs> All right, back down. All right, switch back to the other side. That's a sign, you guys. It must have been like, you're tired. No, we weren't done. All right, now switch it over to the other side, right over. I split us into quads this time. That's okay, look up at your hand. Woo! Two, one, and break. Okay, 30 seconds off. Okay. Awesome. All right. We're taking a little break. Oh, wait, what's that? And then we're going to go into a feet or knees. Get everything out of the way. We're going to drop down right here to repeat or knee. Ready? And all right, here we go. Repeat your knee right here. All right, we're gonna stay low. Stay low. Right here. Down, down, down. Okay. You're gonna feel it in the supporting leg right here. Crunching up and down. Really using your arms to drive down. Pull the knee up. One, now straight into the other side. Up and down, up and down. Standing crunch. Woo! Good. Pull down. Drive the knee up. Perfect. Good. Stay nice and low. Keep going. Looking perfect. Okay. Less than 10. Dig deep. I know it's burning. Hand me on fire. Two. One, woo, shake it out, shake it out. Okay, now you got your break. We're gonna start the next circuit here. So while you're on your break, I'm gonna demo. We're gonna start off in a renegade twist. Okay, so this one's not a renegade roll yet. We're gonna do the renegade roll, but first we start with renegade twist. So you're gonna be right here. You're gonna be up and a plank. You're gonna bring the weight up, then you're gonna turn to the side, just like your T-star, except you're getting it from a different direction. And as you move, you're gonna go down, T-star up. Don't switch sides. Two, one. All right, here we go. Okay. Ready to twist, pivot down to the side, and then come right back down, facing forward. Up to the side, and down. Side and down. Ooh. You're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it straight across the abs. Two, one. Now switch it right to the other side. Ready to twist forward and up. Look up at your hands. Look straight up. Okay. Keep going. Woo! Feeling everything light up from the front to the side, including the shoulder. Two, one, 
and break. Okay, now you're going to put up your other leg. And now we're going to go into the renegade throw. So we're going to come onto our mat. We're going to come onto the plank. Three, two, one. And we're going to renegade row right here. Renegade row. Ooh. All right. Keep the hips facing down. And if these are too much, it's going to be right here on your knees. You can even flip. You can do two on your knees. And then you can come up and do two on plank. Two on your, two on your toes. And then come back down. It just changes it. Good. Keep going. We're over halfway through. Good leg. Perfect. Every time you come up, squeeze your booty. Try to push the booty back down. Good. Three, two, one. And break. Okay, 15 seconds off. Shake that out. Shake that out. Okay. Now we're going to flip over onto our back. And we're going to do a chest press. So you're going to put your feet at tabletop. And you're going to hold the weight side to side. And we're just going to lower down. And we're going to push up. Lower down. And push up. Weights are side to side. Not front to back. Because we're going to flip them for our skull crushers in just a second. Woo! Up and down. Engage the abs. Use the abs to push the load back down onto the floor. We stay nice and safe on our back here. Good. Keep going, keep breathing. This almost feels like a break until the end, and then you're like, no, not a break. Burning. This is burning. Three, two, one, and then you're gonna flip the weights, and then you're gonna go straight back toward the ear, and then up. Right here, straight back toward the ear, and then up. So if you don't feel it in the back of your arm, make sure that you're Pivoting those weights straight down behind the head. Good. Stay right here. Woo, these are so burny. They're good. Now you're separating the weights right here. And if it starts to feel like too much, you can go one, up, and then the other. Up, one, up, back. Oh, that just did one arm a little break in between. Good. That's perfect. These are tough. These are tough. I gotta do what we gotta do to get through them. Three, two, one, and break. Okay. Now. Oh. I'm just gonna finish with a bang here. You know, I'll hate me for a minute and it'll love me. We're gonna go two push ups right here. Two push ups. And then we're going to do four mountain climbers right here. Cool. All right, we got this. All right, just shake out the arms for just a minute. Just release them from those skull pressures. We about five seconds. All right, three, two, one. All right, here we go. All right, two push ups right here. And then four mountain climbers. Right here. Drop that down. Two push ups. And then four mountain climbers. Now, if you want to get up on your toes for the two push ups, feel free. Two push ups. And then four mountain climbers. Do whatever you can do, whatever feels the most challenging. I'm staying in modified push ups this morning because, because, because I have to. And because I know that I'm not going to compromise my form to try and do something that I know I cannot do this morning anymore. So I am just to keep it up. And that's what I want from you. Just the best you can do. Because these are hard. Two, one, and break. All right, 15 seconds off. All right, circle the arms. Let me go. All right, then we're going to roll the back. Roll it off to the side. Get your weights out of the way. I'm going to demo this move here. Okay, we're going to come back. We're going to go one jump, two jump, punch, two, three, four. Then I'm going to back. No weights. Okay? All right, get ready. Come up to stand. Roll the mat back. Three, two, one. Okay. 
Here we go. Jump one, jump two, punch two, three, four. Good, 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 Lynn. You are ahead. Jump one, jump two, punch two, three, four. And then run it back. Okay, land really soft for me. Try to land so that you're not carrying big thugs. One, two, punch two, three, four, and then run it back. Challenging workout here. More invasive, but 
just feel challenging because it's two full rounds because this is abs and arms. So the first one we're going to do is a bicycle crunch. And we're just going to go to the right and we're just going to pulse. And we're just going to stay right here for a full 30 seconds. We're just going to keep pulsing. All right. Ready? Set? And go. Here we go. To the side. Pulse. Pulse. Just keep going. You're fine. Just keep pulsing. You're looking perfect. I can still see you. I just like you back up on my on, on my living room. Keep going. Perfect. We're still pulsing to one side. Three, two, one. Now up, pulse to the other side. We're just bringing the leg in and out. Just keep where you're at. Just keep going right where you're at. You were going back and forth, but that's okay. Just stay right where you're at. Perfect. We're gonna bring the elbow right across to the outside of the knee. Okay. Less than 10 seconds. Oh, it starts to burn. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, now we're gonna go into a leg crisscross. So you're gonna put the hands under the butt right here. Raise the elbows. Three, two, one, and we're just gonna crisscross the legs right here. Just 30 seconds. Okay, you're gonna try and keep the lower back against the floor. So if you're having trouble getting the lower back against the floor, try raising your head, neck, and shoulders and bearing down with your abs. Good. And I moved my hands a little bit under to the squishier part of my butt instead of my back. And that helped me to be able to push my back down. And break. Okay, break right there. Now we're gonna go into side crunches. So we're gonna put the arm, hands behind the head. We're gonna move the legs over to one side, both knees. And then we're just gonna crunch up right here. Crunch. Crunch. Just the fingertips on the side of the head. On the back of the head. <laughs> Not the side. Gently pull up. Right here. All the way down. All the way up. Perfect. These are going to feel pretty good right here. I'm almost using this as like a, the relief move. Maybe we'll push it today. Come on, down. Keep going. You look good every day. All right, switch sides. Right over to the other side. Up and down. Okay, I'm gonna take you a few seconds past the beat. It took you about 10 seconds to one on the other side, but I want you for, I want you to have symmetry. So we're gonna keep going. Keep going here, another 10 seconds. Good. Up and down. Two, one, and break. Okay, now we're gonna take about 10 seconds off. And then we're going to flip to a cross reach. So we're going to put the feet up in the air, bottom of the feet right pointing right, right toward the ceiling, and we're just going to reach right and left, right and left. Okay, ready? And here we go. Okay, reach right and left, right here. Woo! <laughs> right and left. Keep going. You're engaging the upper abs when you're reaching like this. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Whew. Keep it up. Whew. One. Okay, now put the feet down and we're just gonna go into a regular crunch right here. Just a regular crunch. Up and down. Just hands behind the head. Whew. Just a regular old full crunch. Up and down. Lower all the way back. Keep the elbows wide. Good. You can keep your feet in tabletop here too. Never mind, put my feet down. But go ahead. Feel free to keep your feet up. One and break. All right, 10 seconds off. We're gonna grab behind the, the knees and we're gonna roll up. And we're gonna grab the weight. We're gonna go into Russian twist. Okay, Russian twist right here. Okay, lean back right here. Whew. Good. Keep going. Ready? 
we're going to plank leg lifts. So now come into plank. Two, one, and you're gonna just plank leg lift right here. Lift, lift. Keep the butt down on this one. Squeeze the abs, squeeze the butt. Up and down. All right. You're gonna feel it in your shoulders. Try to rock forward instead of backwards. And break. Okay. Woo! Now we're gonna go back to that bicycle crunch. So just take a few seconds and just circle, circle the shoulders, stretch it out, roll your neck out. Then we're gonna go right back up to the top of the circuit. Reverse direction. Okay, here we go. Bicycle crunch. All right. Now well, let's flip it. We're going to go two pulses each side. So we're going to pulse, pulse, then switch. Pulse, pulse, then pulse, pulse. So you're doing two on each side. One pulse or two pulses and then flip to the other side. I'm trying to get the elbow to the outside of the knee. Good. Oh, perfect. I don't think I should go there, Lynn. I'm sorry. I'll take us a few seconds past here. Keep going. It's a whole minute anyway. So to be honest, you can have more than enough. You can, you can extend it. I won't extend it. Woo! I feel like a whole minute of these are like, you're crazy, you're crazy. You go for that one. Keep going. Whoa! Less than time. Three more seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, now instead of leg crisscrosses, we're just gonna go into a booty bridge. So arms come out to the side, legs go right behind the booty, and up, down, up, down. Now if you're not strong enough, bring the arms up. Just bring the arms up in the air right here. Here we go, perfect. And just use your core and your, and your glute strength to raise you up. So you're literally just taking your hands out of the picture and just using the core and the glutes. Perfect. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, 10 seconds off. We're going to put a side crunch. Three, two, one, and we're going to side crunch all the way up all the way down. You can extend the leg and extend one arm here and do the side crunch just like this, reaching the arm towards the toe. And that changes this one too for round two. Still hitting the oblique, nice and slow, full range of motion, just a little different. Okay, just a few more seconds. All right, now switch side. Switch it over. Up and down. Long levers, raising and lowering, holding the abdomen. Good. Just the fingertips on the back of the head. Beauty, beauty. Good. Four, three, two, one, and break. Ten seconds off. All right, now we're gonna go back into the back into the cross reach. So we're gonna put the actually let's go into it instead of a cross reach. We're just gonna reach up this time. So we're just gonna go up, reach straight up. Good, straight up. Perfect. Up you go. Up. Up. We're almost there. Keep going, hold strong, hold strong, hold strong. Three, two, one. Take five seconds off and then we're just gonna go into a regular crunch, right at table tap, right here. Just like before, regular crunch. Just put your leg to table tap, right here. And then if you want, you can try to extend your leg. If you got the core strength to do it, right here. Good. Five, three, two, one. Ooh, let that one 
one, go. That burns. Okay. Woo, five seconds off. Go oh, Russian twist. Roll along. Okay, last time through. Last time through all this. All right, Russian twist. Side to side. Dip down. Side to side. Woo. Keep going. Raise the feet. Drop the weight. Lean back. Three, two, one. Break. Okay, now you're gonna flip over. Last move. We got this. Leg lifts. Three, two, one. And you're gonna leg lift. Right here. Lift up. Keep the weight roll forward. Rolling forward onto the forearms. Lift, lower, squeeze the butt, get the butt down as much as you can. Good. Up and down. Two, one, and break. Okay. We are officially in cool down. So I'm just going to turn my music down here. Okay. All right. Child pose back. Down. Sink the hips down. And just walk it over to the side. Take a couple deep breaths here. And then we're going to walk it over to the other side. Sink that down. Stretch out the shoulder. All right. Now we're going to come up to our hands and knees. And we're going to do happy, happy cow, scary cat. All right, ready? And we're going to go scary cat and then happy cow. Really push the shoulders up. Really feel the stretch wow, in the upper back. Keep going. Just give me like one or two more. Okay. Now, all right, now let's move to our mat and let's stretch out our hips. Okay, so we're gonna put one foot forward, one hand on each side of the foot. Then we're gonna get back to runner's lunge right here. Drop the hips down. Beautiful. All right, now put the bottom leg down and extend the front leg and just sink in. And you're gonna feel back of the leg stretch out right here. You can grab your toe and just gently pull back and then switch. Bottom leg down, front leg up, and you're going to go right into runner's lunge. Push the hips up. Keep this knee back behind the toe. Sink the hips down. All right, now drop the bottom knee, extend the front leg, and lower down. In the front, get that stretch behind the leg right here. Pull back. All right, now we're gonna stretch out the hips and we're gonna stretch out the sides. So we're gonna take one leg to the side, extend the leg, put your arm on the thigh and just reach. You're gonna feel all this open right here. Good, all right, now to the other side. Up and over. Now we're gonna work on the glutes. So we're gonna come to sit. And we're gonna circle. We're gonna do our mixing bowl right here. Oh, this is an old one, but a good one. I love this one. Circle. Give me one more. So we're going three each direction. So we're gonna reverse here. And just do three, two, and three. All right, now we're gonna stretch the glutes. We're gonna go back. So lean back, put one foot over, pull back behind the knee, and push out. Feel the glute stretch out right here. I'm gonna switch sides. Pull back behind and push out. 
Awesome. Okay, so now we're gonna just get the legs just a little more. So you're gonna bring the legs up, lower one down. And then you're gonna have this one here up in the air. You're gonna pull back. You're gonna feel it all stretch out the back. And then you're gonna take the leg and you're gonna open to the side. And you're just gonna feel the inside of your leg really get a good stretch there. Good. Come up and then switch. So now lower down the other leg. And you're just gonna gently pull back right behind the calf. And then you're gonna take the leg to the outside and give it a stretch. Woo! It's gonna feel real nice. And then bring it up. Okay, and then you're gonna grab behind the knees, we're gonna roll up, and you're gonna come to your knees, and you're gonna go into down dog. You're gonna push back, get a good stretch, and then you're gonna walk the feet forward. So now we're coming up to stand, and we're gonna stretch out our arms here. Okay, once you're up, let's just circle the arms. We're gonna circle the arms forward, do a few rounds forward, and then go back. A few rounds back. Good. And then open and close, give yourself a hug. And then out to the side, give yourself a hug. Out to the side, grab at one wrist, reach and pull over. Good, grab the other wrist, reach and pull over. And then I just want you to reach across the chest, drop the shoulder down away from the ear. Out to the side, other arm comes across, drop the other shoulder away from the ear. Let it go, and then two deep breaths. Deep breath in, let it go. One more deep breath in. And let it go. We did it.